Hi, you want to make awesome digital clock and you gather components lying around you. But notice that the heart of the project, the 7 segment display, has no any model numbers or whatsoever. The only thing you know is its size, color and has 10 pins. So in this video, I will show you how I test and make a usable pin out for such displays and this can be done with any other types of 7 segment displays as well. So let's get started. For that, we need to know something about 7 segment display. So, it is known as 7 segment display because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 segments, and one dot point that is for decimal. Or if inverted, we can use this as degree Celsius also. So, it is known as 7 segment display. Let's put it upright and make a copy of it. So this is our 7 segment display, not well but works. And in 7 segment display there are 7 segments represented by A, this one from the top most, B followed by C, D, E, F and the center one remaining is G and this is known as D, P or dot point. And in back we have our display and some tracks all dot point something like this so we have five point on above one two three four five and another five below one two three four five since we don't know which pin is connected to which we can start by using our multimeter yeah in continuity testing position let's switch it on and since we know we have seven segment if we take one wire from each segment one two three four five six and seven plus one dot point Leads to total 8 pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we have 10 pins. So, any two of the pins might be short circuit and taken out, or they can be individuals. First, assume let's assume we have any two points short circuit, and that will be our common point. So, by placing our multimeter in continuity, we can test any two that must be either the end in pins of any segment okay we have the bottom two connected not the top two or none of any other pins so this is our common pin in this type of large seven segment display each individual segment is combination of multiple LEDs so for A we might have numbers of diode connected in series so two pin will be from here one is for and another one is for A and this might be vice versa this will be LEDs but since the dot point is the smallest LED this might not contains contain the amount of lead that is present in individual segment so the minimum amount of lead that can be available in this segment is 1 or 2 or 3 according to the size of the segment so first we will assume this lead number of lead in this segment is 1 so the no for a single lead LED to glow we can use from 1.2 volt to 3 volt so we'll set our power supply to 1.5 volt 
with 10 ohms resistor yeah we have connected uh, 22 ohms resistor and we'll test for this one the dot point segment and with this we cannot blow any other segment because they have the number of leads in higher number so first we need to glow this segment which determines the voltage that is required to uh, light this segment on since we have our two common pins at the bottom we'll choose any one of those which here will be this one and randomly test all the segments pin of the each and every segments I'll start from the topmost which is right here no 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 none of this makes this lead glue goes on at 1.5 volt and 10 ohms resistor so now I'll go to direct 3 volt which is double the amount and again start testing from the first pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so none of these make this lead low so we'll boost up to 5 volts now this means this segment does not contain of only one lead so we can add another one this might happen so this can go from 2.4 volt to 6 volt max if that is of two leds so first we will go from one one two three okay at five volt we have this lead on means this is led with two leads and 22 ohms resistor can be operated with 5 volt continuous current so while testing this we also figured out the center pin from the topmost is our dot point so this one is known as DP and the maximum voltage that can be provided here is 5 volt at 22 ohms resistance so we figured out these two terminals are VCC so VCC with 22 ohms is connected in this terminal and these two are short and it will be now easier to test the other segments since this is the smallest one and consists of two we can assume this lead might be three or around four so i would like to jump to direct four one two three four so this leads can be with 22 ohms ohms uh, 2 goes to 5 so 4 can goes max to 10 volt but I am not going to use 10 volt instead I am going to use 7 volt for this test okay now my power supply has been set to 7 volt and let's try again connected here or say in this point and let's try lighting up the display okay we have light but uh, not so bright so it is around 7 volt and we will twist a little bit further at 7.5 volt it is bright but not at not much brighter and this is the maximum brightness at 8.5 volt with 22 ohms resistor in series so i will go with 8.5 volt not 10 but 8.5 volt and since we have already known these two leads are from first and second pin the first pin is g so if we invert this one this pin is g this can be known as G followed by 
the second pin is F F DP and A A which is B and we'll get back down here on this side this one is C which I connected with this one which is C this one is D and this one is E so we have A B C D E F G all the seven segments as well as dot point and two common points this is how I usually test the LEDs or second segment displays without any model number or description and the voltage ratings is 8.5 volt at less than 100 milliampere current milliampere and for dot point we have 5 volt which is also less than 100 milliampere so i have a lot of the seven segment displays in the same packaging so i'll make a data sheet and write the quotation here so this is b a bp f g and here again we have this to come on as p c c r plus v e and e then after d c again plus v e point and our display has in this display i found it as 4 volt and 7.5 volt meanwhile this one was for 5 volt and 8.5 volt although i bought this same display the voltage rating in this are different so i'll assume the average voltage for all my displays after i measured each and every one of them in the same way thank you